Hey everybody, so um, video number one right now, this is on the importance of sleep uh, and how we get the best sleep. So I've had a lot of people asking me about this stuff. Uh, I'm Jake Herberts, uh, Olympic wrestler, ninja, entrepreneur, um, but basically health, happiness, and uh, efficiency is um, basically where I excel at uh, many things. So I just want to really start spreading the word and helping people out. So rather than continuing to have this conversation, with people over and over, I'm just going to dump it all into here. So, uh, first of all, sleep, uh, it is arguably the most important thing uh, we need outside of water, right? Water and sleep are two of like the three things we need outside of nutrition to basically live as human beings. So, it's uh, if you don't sleep, you die. Uh, we don't know why, I think, as scientists. If somebody does, please let me know. I'd be very interested in that. But we just know that after a certain amount of time, if you don't get sleep, you die. Um, so, it's very, very important to do. Everybody does it. Um, and, um, yeah, so moving on, you don't sleep, you die, uh, sleep deprivation, not having sleep is equally as bad. It's like, uh, it's like a night of drinking almost. If you, if you go without sleep or not getting enough sleep or the right type of sleep. So you will, uh, struggle, you'll feel sluggish, your brain won't work as well. You won't be as uh, efficient and productive without sleep. It keeps us alive. It's a recovery process, right? Because when we sleep, our brain shuffle, redo memories, our body and neurons, we like rest, recover, rebuild muscle, repair, all that other stuff. It gets rid of waste and kind of like resets your system uh, to sum it up. Uh, and your immunity is, again, it's a big thing. You don't have sleep, your immune system will break down, you will get sick. Uh, and again, without enough sleep, you will die. Uh, but I actually know I'm going to die anyways. So, <laughs> um, so the benefits, uh, no, everyone, so everyone needs different amount of sleeps, right? Um, it's usually anywhere between six and nine hours, but if you think about it, babies sleep a heck of a lot more, right? They're growing, they're young, um, they sleep a lot, probably like 12, maybe 13 hours throughout the day. Toddlers still take naps. Uh, this is why your teenagers are super hard to get out of bed because they're growing, right? So until you get to a certain age, usually around 20, 25, you're going to need more sleep, more than eight hours, uh, of, of sleep and depending on your stage of what you do, right? If you're an athlete, obviously you're going to probably need eight, nine, ten hours because you're working your body out and doing hard, especially if you're a professional athlete. But if you're just a regular person working a regular job, some can, you know, live off of five or six hours. Uh, everyone's different. Um, I like to get eight. That's what I do. Um, so the quality of sleep is huge. So there's an app on your phone I use. It's called Sleep Cycle. Um, it will tell you your quality of sleep. It's, you put it on the bed. It measures by how you move. If you move around, and obviously if you're moving around, you're not in like that deep REM sleep. So you want to make sure you're, you're in that, that REM cycle because you need that for repair. That's where like everything uh, happens. So um, to get better, get the best quality sleep that you need, um, these are kind of like the rules for, um, for your bedroom. Right, uh, one, you got to get a good mattress. Right, it doesn't matter, Tempur-Pedic, Saline, whatever. You got to find one that's right for you, and don't be cheap on it. Invest in it. Right, even if you spend five thousand dollars on a mattress, you sleep in it for twenty years, that's down to less than a dollar a day, and we spend half of our lives sleeping. So you want to get a good quality mattress. It doesn't have to be expensive, but you want to get one that works best with you. Some people need harder, softer, lighter. Right, so figure that out. Get a good quality mattress to to sleep in. Um, that, that's, that's huge. Right. And you know, the joke goes around too, is like, what about a used mattress? Um, would you ever sleep on a, a used mattress? And I was like, Oh, that's disgusting. I'd never buy a used mattress, even if it was really good. Well, you know, especially pay money to buy a used mattress, but we do it all the time, right? Hotel rooms, here's 200 bucks. I'm gonna sleep in that bed. That's so many people have slept in. Isn't that disgusting? <laughs> so get a good mattress. I don't care how, even if it is used, get a good one. Um, number two, you need to sleep in a cave. Right, you want it to be dark, so no lights. In my bedroom, I cannot see my hand in front of my face. I have blackout shades. I have black electrical tape over any little bit of light, whether that's from like an alarm or an outlet or uh, the air conditioning unit. Like I have that blacked out. So when you're in my room, there is no light. So get as dark as you can when you sleep. And the reason being is um, your skin can tell. So there was an awesome sleep study that was done on, they had one person just sleep and another person sleep with like a red light um, behind their knee and your skin picks up on that. So the person that slept with the light on their knee got way less quality sleep, way less quality because of that light because our skin picks that up. Even though we're sleeping, as that light comes up, our skin can tell insensitive with lights or anything. So black out your room, get it dark. Um, that's one. 
Uh, the other two, this is really big, one to two hours before you want to be asleep. So if you want to be asleep at 10, at 8 o'clock, 8.30 the latest, cut out screen time. So get this YouTube out of here, get the computer screens, any screen, like my phone, it, it relets um, blue light. So blue light, think of the sky, right? It's the same type of blue. When I'm outside the sky in the day and it's blue, that uh, decreases my melatonin, increases my serotonin. So you don't want that. So don't have your screens on. Get rid of your screens. Get rid of that screen time. Uh, no TV. Uh, another a little cheat that you can do is you can get orange goggles. The orange goggles you put on uh, block out the blue light. So it's uh, kind of like an inverse effect, right? So it'll help. It's a little cheap, but it's still good to unplug, right? You don't need to be on Facebook. You don't need to be on social media. You don't need to be on Twitter uh, to do it. Um, but again, we sleep with our phones in our room, right? So I put my phone on my bed for my sleep time, right? And I try not to do it. I'm not perfect. There's still times when I'm like checking Facebook or doing this. And my wife lets me know that's not going to help you get to sleep. All right. But again, you got to have self-control. Turn it off. I just, I, I just, you know, I put my sleep cycle app on. I put a podcast on and I just listen to it. So I don't watch TV before I go to bed. You shouldn't have electronics in your bedroom. Um, if you do, just I mean, you try to break the habit. Uh, the other thing to really do is uh, magnesium before you go to bed. I love it. Um, I'm gonna move my computer's dying on this. I didn't do a good job yet. But magnesium is huge for um, your, your body. There's like over 500 like effects that cell. There's 500 things your cells use magnesium for. Uh, so and we're all deficient in it. Usually we can't get enough of it from our diet. So take a magnesium supplement, especially before bed. That's going to really help speed up your recovery process. Barwis PM is a great supplement that I recommend. It's, it's high with tryptophan, which is like the, the stuff in turkey that makes you sleepy, and magnesium, a ton of it in there. Um, waking up, right? You should, uh, you, you, you want to get a natural alarm clock again. When you wake up, you should feel ready and rested. If you wake up in the middle of a deep REM cycle, it's going to stink. You know, you're going to feel drowsy and drowsy, even if you had eight or nine hours of sleep. So you want to make sure my alarm clock does it, where it makes sure I'm on one peak. It'll start to nudge and like wake me up before that. And then I also have a light alarm clock, which is great because my room is blacked out. Um, so what that does is, well, I set my alarm for 7 a.m. At 6.45 or 6.40, the first little light will go off. So it's like the sunlight waking up. And then usually it'll get brighter and brighter and brighter before 6. And then I'm usually up five minutes before my alarm because my skin gets that and I wake up gradually and feel better. Uh, men, when you wake up, you should be hard. Uh, it, it's that's a good sign of testosterone. If you're not waking up like erect, I mean that. And if you're not waking up like that, um, you know you got to get something checked out. Uh, that's that's really it's it's super important. You can ask Andy Rovat more about it. He'll go into that. Tweet him with that. But that'll do um, with that. And then the last thing is you should be happy too. You should be pumped to get up and start the day. To get your rest. So, so I don't know what that is, what that purpose is, whether that's your walk in the morning, your run, uh, walking your dog, whatever it is, get a routine. Because uh, your sleep cycle for the next day starts the second you get out of bed. Starts the second. So you want to get up and then I'll immediately get your uh, serotonin level up and s decrease your uh, melatonin level. So whether that's push-ups, walking, water, you know, get up and go because it starts. Your sleep for the next day starts the second you get up that next day. So getting up earlier, obviously you'll be able to go to bed earlier. And it takes time. I was a night owl. I used to go to bed at, you know, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, and I gradually worked my way down to, like, now I'm average in bed by 9, 30, 10, asleep way, like, 10, 30, sometimes 10 o'clock, um, and then I'm up at, like, 6 or 7 a.m., and I'm getting a lot more done, but that took time um, for that to happen. So um, I think that covers it. The last thing I want to do is the people that say they're light sleepers. Uh, <laughs> that's a big laugh, and here's why. Um there's a great book, Victor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning, uh, Holocaust Survivor. And he was telling me, like, all right, there's these people that have these sl huge sleep issues. Like, oh, I can't sleep without um, a glass of milk to go to bed. Or I can't sleep without, um, you know, without my nightlight or this or that. Like, what the human, human spirit and the human body can endure is unbelievable. Uh, there are these people, I mean, in the Holocaust camps, they would sleep on a bed. They'd shut 16 of them in there. They'd be wooden planks. They wouldn't have pillows. They didn't have blankets. They didn't have anything. They slept like sardines. And there were these people. They were just so exhausted. They would have somebody this close in front of them snoring in their face super loud and just be sleeping peacefully. So you don't know what you are capable of, 
right? You don't know what you can really do in that situation when you're working at a, a Holocaust camp like that. These people are so tired, they sleep. You're going to sleep, right? Everybody can, so I don't know what your sleep problems are, but you know, you can endure it and you can change it. So I really hope a lot of that stuff helps. Um, to go over it again, just to sum it up, um, rules for your bedroom, sleep in a dark, dark room. No electronics, right? Get an app that will track your sleep cycle so you can see how you're sleeping. Uh, cut out electronics, you know, get a nighttime routine. I want to be upstairs at 9.30 every night. My alarm goes off, says end everything, start to get upstairs, go into bed. Uh, get a routine that goes. Magnesium before you go to bed is huge. Uh, dark room you want to sleep in. Natural alarm clock to wake up. And um, be excited. Be excited in the morning. So I, I hope that helps. Um, I know a lot of you guys were asking if you have any other questions. My email is jake.herbert1 uh, at gmail.com. Uh, leave comments down below. Uh, share this video, uh, get better quality sleep, and um, as I continue to do this, this is something I want to do more, kind of like a, a health, a happiness, and um, efficiency uh, podcast or YouTube show here. So let me know what you think, what I can do to improve it. Uh, like I said, this is just the start of, of many more uh, that I did, but I, I hope this helps you guys, and I hope this helps with recovery. Uh, and yeah, let me know. Sleep better, guys.